Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I draw the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Yesterday, I drew the Mad Hatter for my number 27 of my A Drawing a Day challenge, and I was kind of feeling in the Alice in Wonderland mood again, so I decided to tackle the white rabbit. And in this sort of drawing, I kind of went back to my roots, and the roots is basically just like using watercolor with the polychromos marker, uh, sorry, pencils and also the markers. It's the first time that I actually use a lot of the markers with the watercolor work. It's kind of like, you kind of have to be careful with this because you don't want to use up all of your marker ink, so you kind of got to use it wisely because the watercolor paper tends to soak up a lot of the ink. Um, so. I pretty much just use the markers for the facial details as well as like the background a little bit and I use more of my older touch markers for this not my new Copics uh, just because the Copics are much more expensive so I'm willing to uh, use my older touch markers that are like 10 years old for you know more extensive detail work so yeah, so for this video, like I mentioned, I went back to my roots of using watercolor. I started off with a background, or with the background, and I did a lot of the, the pattern using only watercolor. So this is a lot of dark greens, uh, some olive green, as well as dark gray, and a little bit of touches of yellow for the foliage in the background. And then while this was drying, it's a little bit hard to like keep going. So I kind of had a break in between to let the background dry because you don't want to smudge it up or you don't want to get your hand in it. Um, and then if you're also working on the rabbit's ears or like the face, you have you, you could have a tendency of mixing the background with like the, the light gray in the face and this can get really messy. So it's always good to take a break and wait for things to dry. So once the first layer of the background ended up drying, finally after like, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, I proceeded with the face and with the rabbit's face, I started with the shadow areas. And then afterwards, I had to wait for the face to dry to be able to proceed with the marker work and the pencil crayon work. So I continue with the background by adding more depth and layers of darkness. Um, the background is relatively dark compared to the whiteness of the rabbit, so I needed to just keep applying layers and I did this with watercolor as well as markers. So once the face was nice and dry, I proceeded with the shadowing with my markers and I used a combination of the touch markers as well as the Copic markers. This is actually probably the most fun part of the drawing. I love adding depth and I love adding a sense of realism with the detailing, so with the uh, polychromos pencils and the markers together, it really creates, you can really create some really magical things with that. So as you can see, I'm using the pencil crayons uh, to create fur, a uh, texture of fur, um, and this is just like really short strokes. And then for the eyeball, I use a lot of markers for that, so I use my Copic markers to add a dimension with a different color, so there's a bit of red, there's yellow, there's orange, and of course there's pink, so he's a red-eyed rabbit, so his eyes kind of need to look a little bit crazy. And basically what I just keep doing for the rest of the face is to keep layering um, the different types of materials. So I keep layering with strokes of pencil crayon, I use a very light warm gray to add um, the shadowing, and a darker warm gray as well. Um, and yeah, I just keep going on top of the layers, um, creating depth, creating dimension, creating a sense of realism. It's all about layering. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. There will not be that many more videos for this challenge remaining. I think this is my third left, or actually, I think I have two more left. So this is number 28, and tomorrow I will do 29, and then Tuesday will be the last day. Um, so I will keep doing speed painting videos, of course, because I absolutely love doing that. Um, but in terms of uploading daily content for drawing videos, this will be minimized because I really want to focus more on video tutorials as well as, um, yeah, just general product reviews and, yeah, some fun stuff as well, like challenges and or like trying out Pinterest art things. I really like to try that kind of things, kind of go into the arts and crafts. Um, portion of art as well. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys like the White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, give this video a giant thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below as well as subscribe. And then I noticed this old Guatemalan guy. Face like an old shoe. 
and he walked across the room. And there in the corner, I hadn't seen it before, was this jukebox. And he put in a coin. And he pressed three buttons. 